Hi everyone, welcome to another What the Wednesday. My name's Kate McCarthy and I'm a Livestock Officer with the Northwest Local Land Services. And this week's What the Wednesday is just about getting your use ready for joining. For those that are looking at um, that early March joining period, some of the things that uh, to think about um, in that period leading up to yeah, an early March joining. So I guess you hear it recurrently, like uh, it's often talked about when we talk about sheep and nutrition is condition score. So condition score is one of the main factors to be focusing on when we're looking at, you know, getting towards that joining period because for your maiden use, for your adult use, um, you know, nutrition and, and the right condition score is really going to drive a high success rate when we come when it comes to reproduction. So condition score three is the old, I guess it's the, the you know, it's the bees knees for condition score when it comes to use. So um, on a scale, you've got condition score one to five and condition score three is what we're aiming for. For your maiden use, you're probably looking at more on a factor of percent of mature percent of mature body weight. So looking at that 85% of a mature body weight for your maiden use. Um, but yeah, for your adult use, really focusing on condition score and, and maintaining that condition score three. And at joining it, it, if your use are below a condition score, so in that condition score two range, it's been shown that yeah, you it's likely that there'll be twenty percent more um, dry use in the in the flock in comparison to having that condition uh, greater percent of the mob in condition score three. So um, and another statistic to to put out there is with condition score. Um, the average, it's a linear relationship between reproduction as well. So for every um, hundred use, you can increase, you can have an increase of twenty lambs just by um, pushing that condition score um, up. So um, there's some things to be thinking about now. Condition score is managed and maintained via nutrition. So making sure that you've got the feed base to support the use coming into this point of time. Um, and as we know, like protein becomes a bit more of an important factor getting closer to, to joining. But at this point, it's get supporting their energy needs. So that's if you've got a, um, a forage crop that can support that at this time or, yeah, make sure that your pastures, uh, yeah, can support that. And if they can't, then look at supplementary feeding just to boost them up because of, you know, the amount of metabolizable energy that they require at that point in time. And from a nutrition perspective, that's, I guess, looking at your pastures and saying, well, is there enough there? So is the quantity there, but is the quality there as well? And when we talk about quality, we talk about digestibility. So how much, I guess, they can take in of that pasture and then how much they take in is, again, related to what quality that is. So, sorry, what, what energy what metabolizable energy rating that is so um i guess the more they can take in at a good at a, at a good metabolizable energy level then that the better off they are so looking at that looking at quantity um, and quality of your pastures or your forage crops um and yeah making sure that they can meet that rising plane of nutrition um and yet yeah, considering supplementary feeding if if that if you're if you know it's dried off um, and we are in summer, so if, if your feed base can't meet, meet those, then yeah, what can you do to boost them a little bit? And with your rams as well, I guess getting closer to that joining period, they're no different. They need to be in a good, um, I guess, condition score, meaning that their energy and nutrient requirements also need to be supported for a successful joining rate. And as we get closer, the usual five T's, um, check their teeth, torso, tossle, testicles and toes. So they're just some really basic things with getting your ewes ready for joining. Um, one other thing is that Sally Balmain, our livestock officer based out of Laurie Alda is coming back. She's been on 12 weeks, sorry, 12 months maternity leave and is making her way back. She'll be starting, well, would have started Tuesday, this Tuesday. Um, and yeah, she'll be based in the Warrior Elder office on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So feel free to um, contact Sal uh, and she's very much looking forward to being back. So any questions relating to getting your use ready for joining or any, you know, any questions around that livestock space, feel free to contact any of us and have a good rest of the week. Thanks.